Emmanuel is up a game. All right. Corny, all these right. tempo decks. I think our players are onto something here. The less colors, the better, right? Less colors, the better. Cheap spells mixed with some really, really powerful Huadi Jins. I mean, seems pretty sweet so far to me. It does indeed, and I didn't like the look of that hand, neither did Tristan, and he's going to keep this one, destroy evil, along with the Wandering Emperor and Void Rend. Yep, much better hand here, definitely functional. I believe we saw John Emmanuel Dupra mulligan as well to at, at least once. And oh, look at those beautiful islands. Oh, those so might be pretty. some of my favorites. Oh, like, they're so good. The oh. Infinity Lands, oh. Give me some SpaceX every day of the week, but let's SpaceX, not okay. drool over them lands. <laughs> As, uh, you know, the one thing, the one benefit about a mono blue deck is your lands aren't going to be hitting you, Corey. Yeah, that's very true. And we have <laughs> seen that really come into play, you know, earlier in a lot of these Esper decks. Like, you have to. And I think you're onto something with the less colors, the better, because that's uh, a big deal. So we just got a bit of technical difficulties here. We're going to get Tristan's feed live again shortly for us, friends. But just taking a look at John Emanuel's hand, he does have reactive and proactive plays to go through here. Yeah, I like the alternate art card there. Yeah, we jumped ahead a little bit here. Let's search the Count's castle. <laughs> Draw some cards. <laughs> yeah. All righty, so as we get this game underway, we do have the Wandering Emperor in hand available for Tristan, times two, as well as a Void Rend and Destroy Evil, but Jean Emmanuel's not going to budge. He is playing the, I'm going to wait until you do something, and then I'll react. Yep, absolutely. We're going to see this Wandering Ember going to oh, be a snap pierce. counter. Yeah, Spell Pierce is one card. <laughs> you know, we're going to see a lot in Explorer. We see a lot in older formats mm -hmm. like Pioneer and Modern as well. Like, that kind of cheap counter spell to be able to push <sighs> through some of the powerful things you're doing is just extremely, extremely powerful. Oh, man. That's such a, it's such a feels bad when you get Spell Pierce. Oh, yeah, oh. absolutely. Absolutely. I hate it. I hate it. Especially, I hate especially if you're just like acting quickly and mm -hmm. you don't play, you know, like let's say land six when you play a four drop and you forget about spell pairs. Walked into that too many times in my career, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> All right, where does Tristan go from here? Is he friendlier? to cast a second copy of Wandering Emperor. Yeah, it looks like we have definitely just passed the turn from Tristan's side, and now John Emanuel just deciding, what do you want to cast? Mm -hmm. Search for Courier's Castle, which I believe is a thirst for discovery. It but is. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone at home that is uh, wondering, yeah. <laughs> Decides to play nothing. Just yep. does not want a Wandering Emperor to see play, and that's exactly what would have happened. So yep. a heads up play from John Emanuel here, making sure that that card doesn't resolve. That is just a really big beating um, for the mono blue version, especially. Mm. You know, I think Julian's version, you can at least deal with it a little bit with some of the red removal spells, yeah. but from this version, it's a lot tougher. Haughty Jin, Search the Count's Castle, and Impulse available in hand there for Johnny Manuel. On the other side of things, we got the Void Rend to deal with any big old critters. Rona's Vortex, the Wandering Emperor, and Destroy Evil. Infernal yep. Grasp off the top of the library now as well to deal with any threats that may present themselves but for the moment the canadian part of the game corey you go no, <laughs> you're you go. no, no please no, i you. insist mm. i insist yeah absolutely and the one thing that we're seeing as far as a difference from john Oof. emmanuel's list from let's say julian's is one we have the telerian terrors in the main mm -hmm. there was a few copies in the sideboard for julian but we don't see a lot of um shore up we see slip out the back instead yeah. which is you know better in some ways, yeah. worse in some ways. It's, kinda, it's it's a real nifty little trick because you can yeah. either use it proactively or you can use it to move something out the way. It's like, oh, you have a blocker? Yeah. Not anymore. Absolutely. And it does keep that plus one, plus one permanently. Yeah. You know, so that uh, that is a big deal as well. Oh, man. Look at these Telerian Terrors. They're getting so cheap. And you know what else is getting cheaper? <laughs> All the spells. Everything. Everything. Yeah, and I just think about slipping out the back the Telerian Terrors after they played Ward. Like, that uh, seems like just an oh, insane play. Oh, that's so gross. Yeah. I love it, but it's gross. <laughs> Runners Vortex targeting this haughty Jin wants to get this off the battlefield, but Johnny Manuel says no. No. Says Do no. Not touch. And one thing, uh, you know, we want to check out, we see those records in the in the side there, four and one mm -hmm. from John Emanuel, four and one from Tristan as well. Tristan did was one of the three O's. John Emanuel yeah. was not, so that means he's undefeated in standard as well. 
I mean, Johnny Manuel Dupree, he's one of my favorite players. He's just yes. so damn good. Yes. I'm not surprised by this, honestly. And Absolutely not. But the one thing... He always confuses us a little bit. Like, he always brings, you know, the odd deck out. He never goes with the metagame yeah. or anything. He's just like, nah, I don't want to play Esper. He plays, he, you know, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And I absolutely love that. Yeah, you say confuses us, but but I think what it really is is makes us look bad because yeah. we're always like, I don't think that deck looks that mm. very good, and be like, who's then, playing it? Oh yeah, and then we ask who's playing it. It was like John. Oh, it's oh, perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a great deck. Yeah, great, great deck. deck. <laughs> but the one thing I want to say is, if John Emmanuel were to pick up this match, that's six zero for the tempo decks, the two, the only yeah. two tempo decks in the field. Jeez, that is uh, really impressive. Unbelievable. Oh, man, Tristan is trying his best to get rid of this gin. He's like, oh, what do I have to do to kill this thing? There's a void <laughs> yeah. random hand. Sure, it can't be countered, but <laughs> I don't exist is basically what John Emanuel is going to say. Exactly. If he attempts to go after it one more time. And Tristan is X and 1, where X is that, or where the 1 is the other tempo deck. Yeah. So, you know, he's probably sick of losing quaddy <laughs> gin if he loses again, you know? <laughs> All righty, where do we go here, Tristan? Are you going to go for it? Infernal Grasp and Void Rand available to him to deal with the 6 4, which is just going to start delivering the beats. So, turn passes back to Jean Emmanuel, draws an island, has slip out the back, Essence Scatter, and a one mana 5 5. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. And the one disadvantage for slip out the back mm. compared to shore up is going to be kind of exactly right here, right? Like you're going to void rent. Shore up is uh, more than likely going to be the response. Mm -hmm. And shore up would have dealt with uh, the wandering Emperor here. Yes, but sure. slip out the deck, it is phased out. So you're not going to be able to deal any combat damage here. But it will get that extra plus one, plus one counter. Mm -hmm. So bye bye, Jin. We'll see you in a bit. To Lair and Terra on the battlefield. Good old 5-5 five, five with Ward. Rafine Scheming Seer, a decent find here, but unfortunately, there's an Essence Scepter. And just, what are you going to do? What are you going to attack into with this 5-5 uh, five, uh, five staring across the way? Yeah, some big sea creatures over there. Uh. Wandering Emperor survives for now. And I suppose you want to, uh, you know, set that upkeep stop. Yeah, we mm -hmm. saw that from Tristan and be like, well, this grasp has to work or I'm dead. Yeah. You Pretty know, much. It's a 9-5. Yep. Working 9-2-5. No. <laughs> it, was, it was a 9-5. It is now dead, as we find a consider off the top of the library here for Jean Emmanuel. We'll be happy to find that. But so far, so good for both players. There's an impulse, so more looks at the top of the library. Let's go digging. What kind of uh, draft deck do you think John Emmanuel likes in this format? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mono White. Yeah, 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 you think that's it? Not mm. the Impulse Telerian mm -hmm. Tarot deck? <laughs> oh, but another one! Wow. Hey! Double Snacks. Now, we can see a trade here. Yep, and I bet we will. Or just a chump. What, do you, what do you think? Could be a chump. I mean, if you get, yeah, you know, if, if they do have a removal spell, if Sean Emanuel does have a removal spell, which this list plays a lot less mm -hmm. than Julian's list, uh, then this is just a blow up, but you've got to at some point ask yourself, can I beat it? Can yeah. I beat it at any point in the game? And the answer kind of seems like no. Tristan's going to hate to see another one, but at least he's drawn something that's not land off the top of the library. So yep. Denik, Pious Apprentice, is going to hit the board here. And Wandering Emperor is going to be like, help, please. Yeah, and the one thing, you know, Tristan does have available right now is that plaza mm -hmm. to help out Denik a little bit. Yeah, keep him alive. But this is not a keep it alive and kill Telerian terror type of situation. No. Even if you make the 2-2, two -two, this is just four damage to the terror. And, uh, whoa, an impulse off the top is a great Ooh. job for John Emanuel. All right. Let's see what we can do here for John Emanuel. Take a look. Four cards. What do we fancy? What does he find? See Another what the impulse. Options are. All right, he's just going to impulse his way to something meaningful here. <laughs> and this is something that these tempo decks do very well. It's just like, right, my hand sucks. I have an island. Let's go <laughs> dig in and try find something else. And you see Tristan just taking a look at the library, being like, oh my goodness, what else do I have to deal with here? Yeah, no kidding. And I'm just trying to think, what is Tristan's best draw out of this AO? Seems like it, it would be yeah. insane, but I wonder how many AOs were even left in from Tristan. Although it's an extremely powerful card, all these blue decks just, you know, either bouncing it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a, a fading hope on AO oh. feels so bad. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's very frustrating playing against Mono Blue Tempo, you know, but it, it, it it's kind of reminiscent of the, the old Dominaria Mono Blue yeah. Tempo dis list. It's just like, cool, I'm just going to get this massive flyer out on turn three, and then I'm yes. just going to bounce everything out of the way. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. 
Oh, another 5-5. Five, five. How, how does that look? Yeah, 5-5 five, five for one mana. I think we should print those cards more often. You know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Decides not to attack. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay, and Shieldred is an extremely strong top deck as well. Oh, okay. That can run away with this game yeah. with left unchecked. It's going to put a lot of pressure on John Emanuel to answer it right now. Mm -hmm. And this is another thing. You know, I, I hate to keep comparing this list and, um, and to Julian's. To Julian's mm -hmm. But Shieldred is a card that could be dealt with, actually removed yeah. from the Izzet side. Um, you know, so it could, could, could be a problem. Wondering where this counter is going to go. I kind of like it going on Shielder just to be able to block one of these Talarian Terrors. Yeah, usually you don't want to put all your eggs in, in one, one basket, basket yeah. type of thing. But at this point, it's like both players are kind of attritioned out. Yeah. And sometimes you have to take these risks where, yeah, if they draw Fading Hope, it's going to be really, really bad. Yeah. But. Okay, Hori Jin off the top here for Jean Emmanuel. Get some flying action going. Still has plenty of life to work with, so Shieldred's not the biggest issue right now, but definitely wants to get that That's dealt a 12 with. Four. Oh, Odwara, hey. That is a 12-4. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be back in hand pretty shortly, I imagine. Yeah, probably. And now the plaza is available. So this Ottawa, I mean, Ottawara was probably mm -hmm. one of the best draws because Ottawara is cost reduct for each legend. There's yeah. two in play, so you can channel that for two and leave plaza available in case there were any double blocks here. Yeah. I mean, even a double block, though, is just so bad for Jean because, like, you know, death touch, yep. first strike. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even kill it. Yeah, good point, good point. First, yeah. struck, first strike and death touch. Uh, yeah. Pretty scary. Yeah. Pretty scary. Good friends, those two. <laughs> death touch and trample, the other two good friends. Ooh, oh, invoke the wind. Oh, my God. <laughs> Steal things. Oh, my God. Okay, so here is yeah. going to be... You know, of course, this this plaza is still available, so uh -huh. this isn't you know completely insane. But if Ottawara were to bounce Quadi Jin or bounce something else, you can at least you know if Tristan were to play another spell that taps the plaza, then Invoke is probably going to you know be a huge impact. But as it stands right now, as long as four mana stays untapped, uh, Invoke isn't going to be the, the <laughs> game breaker that it feels like. But I still get to, well, you could try steal it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely try. Yeah. Oh, man. You just ruined all that fun, Corey. I know. I'm sorry to be the, the buzzkill here. <laughs> yeah. Barrow of bad news. But at this point, you know, this Quaddy Jin is winning this race. Yeah. You know, if you just attack twice at Tristan. Swing. Yeah, I guess Wandering Emperor still cleans it up there, too. So, yeah, yeah. this is looking pretty rough for Jean Emmanuel. A lot of the lines are, are kind of shut down here. Yeah, almost Ottawa just being able to bounce something. You know, yeah. I think Wandering Emperor needs to get off the board first. So, sending in the Talarian Terror. Do we send both in? Ah, uh, no, because then he'd be dead on the crackback, right? Yeah, especially with Ottawa. That makes it really tough. Yeah. I mean, just one attack here seems like the only safe play where John Emanuel just doesn't die on the spot next turn. So naturally, that's going to be the play he makes, you know? <laughs> I, I always feel like John yes, Emanuel also dying. has perfect information, <laughs> even though we know he doesn't. <laughs> it, it always seems like he makes those kind of plays. Not dying is uh, generally a good option here, as yes. we're going to see. Oh, oh, huh? okay. So Terror at the Emperor. And the big old haughty Jin, 12 mm. points of damage. Going face. So if this is the attack, Tristan can just go, you know, end step, Ottawara, the only blocker, mm -hmm. win the game. So yeah. that, that would be brutal. Oh, well, okay. We just go face. Going face. Yeah. I mean, I'm, for, I'm all for it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, all attacks to the face. Huh. So there is a scenario here where Tristan gets, just gets like really blown out. And yeah. that is if Denik goes to block a Talarian Horror and you Ottawara Huati Jin, then all of a sudden Plaza, you know, is not available. Anymore, yeah. yeah, I guess you can just do it right now. Okay, yeah. If you were to plaza on the Denik to try to keep it alive that way, mm -hmm. then this Invoke the Winds is a blow. Oh, yeah. All righty. Let's see two Terras coming in. Denik not going to jump in the way here. 
10 points of damage down to 10. And then recast the Jin as a blocker. You can definitely recast the Jin as a blocker and uh, play Invoke the Winds mm -hmm. on Shieldra just to get rid of Plaza and then just block Shieldra, trade that. Yeah. Take three or four, depending if the Wandering Emperor puts a counter on Denik. And yeah, then you're not looking so bad, but I think you are priced into invoking here, but I guess not. Shieldred gaining some more life here for Tristan Wildaru, who finds a Kaito Shizuki off the top of the library. Wandering Emperor is stuck around far too long for my liking. Planeswalkers are a pain in the backside. They I absolutely tell you. are. And now we are kind of seeing this uh, another line, because this whole game is really going to revolve around Invoke the Wind. So yeah. if Kaito Shizuki gets cast, yeah. then we're not able to Plaza, could take Shieldred and completely change the game. It's going to be interesting how much, you know, restraint Tristan has because this is just a mm -hmm. sideboard card. There's three Invoke the Winds in the sideboard from John Emanuel, but it's not a, uh, you know, a card that yeah. is in the main deck. Well, lethal damage presented here, so Shieldred and the Haunted Jin are going to trade off. Denik is going to gain four life here for Tristan. And he's going to be pretty happy with this because, yeah. like, there's no bounce. No way to protect, you know, no slipping out the back this time around. Yeah, and okay. Back up to a healthy 16 as opposed to six for the Frenchman. All right, so Invoke the Winds is live to fully resolve and take Denik. Oh. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Every time I'm ready Just to say kidding. Invoke is going to get cast, there's always something that oh, is stopping man. it. So. I bet you Johnny Manuel is feeling the exact same thing. He's like, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Drat. So Invoke the Winds, just a real fancy spell hanging out in hand there for Johnny Manuel as he tries his best to get this Wandering Emperor off the battlefield. And this time around, it dies. Now, is there a way that Tristan can kill him in one go? This has been really interesting how... Oh, that's just big. rude. Derez is going to see the Invoke of the Winds, and Tristan is going to be like, ha, 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 vindication. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yep. Got to agree with you there, man. Oh, my goodness me. This has been a really strange game, with <laughs> mostly revolving around the Wandering Emperor. You know, yeah. just the fact that it was at one at mm -hmm. one point and just kept ticking up on Denik uh, to try to gain some life, and now we're going to see... This ninja being played, but there is still a two-turn clock with this Talarian Ooh. Terror. Ooh, that was a nice. big draw with that extra land. Thirst for Discovery, we need to find something good here. What do we get? A Jin, oh, Otawara, my. and a Consider. Oh, beautiful. That is huge. Nice. Just a refuel there for Jean Emmanuel. Exactly what he needed. Is sitting at two life, and Tristan's just reset. He's just like, yeah, yep. I'm at 20. This is one, fine. One thing that uh, John Emanuel has, we could definitely see, like, Talarian Terror, just one of them attack Kaido Shizuki, mm -hmm. leave back the other one to block Denik, play Huadi Jin, and then you don't lose to a removal spell straight away. Yeah. You can't Atawara as well. You know, these Talarian mm -hmm. Terrors clearly are not legendary since they're, <laughs> they're in play. You could consider now as an option, but... We will see. I think John Emanuel has to kind of transition from being hyper aggressive with yeah. these Talarian Terrors to like now having to be defensive uh, and eventually deal with this ninja, which Ottawa can do. Yeah, for sure. So the board is stabilized from John Emanuel's perspective, even though he's going to go to one. Yeah, and he's going to choose here to get this gin out. 14-4. <laughs> Oh, that's a big boy. Oh. That's not what Tristan wants to see. That was a big draw step. So his life total's fine. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Mm. This unblockable ninja is going to take John Emmanuel down to one. And he doesn't more, He doesn't mind about showing his hand. He's just like, yeah, yeah I'm hellbent. Yeah, Let's see. absolutely. Let's trying, see what happens. Trying to get to a position where... You know, you can at least double plaza now. Yeah. That is one reason to be hellbent. Normally you save cards for mm -hmm. Rafine, but double plaza could be very important if there were two fading hopes, Ottawa or yeah. something like that. So consider taking a look at the top card. Looks like it's an essence, essence scatter. scatter. Okay. Probably not exactly what you want here. Yeah, I don't know if What's what's the worst creature you could 
worry about Ao Shieldred? Ao, yeah, Shieldred, absolutely. <laughs> That's yeah. a, that will be an ouch. That's interesting because Ottawara does stabilize the board, mm -hmm. and if Essence Scatter stops Shieldred, which is the worst problem for you, yeah, yeah I'm with you. That was that's extremely strong. Another thirst for discovery. Here's the here. thing: can we win right now with Wadi Jin? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Where's the land begin, Chuck? Can we you, steal a thing? You can discard two cards as another option, so you could discard two invokes that gets this up to 18 power yeah so we can't we can't fully get what if we just move denik out the way oh uh, can't do it with the plaza but you could attack with two true. telarian horrors as it stands right now tristan's at one because if you attack with both <laughs> uh telarian terrors plus the wadi Jin, if you discarded two spells mm. don't forget the life gain though so yeah wait what if you discard essence scatter and invoke and, then, and then you invoke Denik, which will get countered. That gets Quadi Jin up to 19 power. Mm -hmm. Telerian Horror would connect. Denik would gain four life. I think that's 20 exactly. All righty. Let's yep, do here it. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Quadi Jin. It's an 18 4. About to be 19, and he's going for the itty bitty. He's going to steal him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness me, we're going to see Plaza of Heroes make him indestructible, but it ain't going to be enough, because that is all she Touching. wrote. Exactly, Jean-Emmanuel Dupra sees the line. Corey, you called it, my friend. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff.